Welcome to the Yoga Society, I'm Tani. Today's yin practice is focused around your lung meridian. So it's if you've had a cold or a chest infection, this class will help you open up and relax. So I'll see you on the mat. We'll start in a seated position today. So bringing your shoulders over your hips, the backs of the hands to rest on your thighs and everything comes towards stillness. Closing down your eyes and relaxing the skin on your face. Starting to send the breath all the way down, filling your lungs completely. Noticing the rhythm of the breath. And noticing how it feels when you completely exhale. So conscious not only of the inhale filling every corner of your lungs, but also conscious of the exhale fully releasing the air. Inhale, feel all the way. And the exhale to completely cleanse. Taking a moment to set your own intention. What do you need? We're going to sweep the hands all the way up overhead. Follow an inhale, catching a big balloon all the way up overhead. And on the exhale, turn your torso to the right. Hold for another inhale. And then see if there's one millimeter more. Exhale, take an extra little twist. Drop the left hand to the right thigh, right fingertips find the ground behind you. Take a beautiful spinal twist here, turning your face all the way over your right shoulder. Maintaining that smoothness of breath. We're not gonna hold the breath here, we're gonna keep filling the lungs and keep cleansing the lungs. Your left hand is gonna stay exactly where it is. Your spine stays upright and we're gonna send those right fingertips all the way to the back of the room. So the hand is in line with your shoulder and you're reaching those right fingers all the way to the back of the room. And from here, your left shoulder leans towards your left knee. And ever so gently, we paint the rainbow up and overhead with that right hand, reaching the right fingertips all the way. My right arm is now close to my right ear. I'm gonna turn the face to look down at the floor and really reach through that sideline. Breathe. We have six slow breaths here. So take the time to indulge in each and every breath. Don't wish it away. Your left hand will stay connected to that right leg. We straighten up through the spine and your right hand now finds your left leg. Your arms are crossed in front of you. We send the fingertips to the ceiling and maybe the backs of your hands come together or maybe you can take the double bind, crossing at the wrists and bringing the palms together. We then drop the elbows, the thumbs are now close to your nose. And we start to breathe into the back of your heart. So really start to expand between your shoulder blades on every inhale. Shh. 
Shoulders are soft and far away from your ears. Your next inhale, we're going to float your elbows in that bound position up towards the horizon as you gently, gently lean your heart space back. And on the exhale, draw chin to chest, draw the elbows towards you and gently, gently we bow forward, releasing now the weight of the hands, now hang in space. Your next big inhale is going to float your chest back to upright. Slowly unbind the arms, backs of the hands come to rest again on your thighs, palms facing upwards and take your rebound. Observing the breath. Aware. Your next inhale, we catch that balloon up overhead. Big inhale. Whole torso turns to the left. Hold for an inhale. And see if there's one millimeter more. Right hand finds that thigh, left fingertips find the ground behind you and take the twist, turning your face over the left shoulder. Continue to breathe. All the way, fill the lungs and take the time to completely empty the lungs. Maintaining your straight spine. The right hand stays, the left hand reaches to the back of the room, hand in line with your shoulders, really reach. And then we lean the right shoulder towards your right knee. Left hand sweeps up and over. Really stretch through that sideline, turning the face down. That right hand stays connected as you gently bring your torso back to upright. The left hand will find the right thigh. Send the fingertips to the ceiling, either the backs of the hands or we take the double bind. Elbows pull down, the thumbs close to your nose. Really start to expand the back of your chest with every inhale.
Our next big inhale, we're going to lift the elbows to the line of the horizon as your heart floats up. Inhale. Follow an exhale to draw the elbows in, rounding through your spine, letting your forearms and hands hang in space. Let yourself soften. Jaw is loose. Breath is easy. Your next inhale floats you back. And the exhale to release the bind, coming to your rebound pose. We're coming to a twisted mermaid pose. So you'll come onto your left hip and bring your cushion onto the mat. If you have a bolster, of course, you're welcome to use that or a pillow or anything that can help support you. We're coming onto the left hip, stacking the knees to start. Our chest is gonna land on that bolster. So rotate that left shoulder and then lower yourself all the way down. We're eventually going to turn the face opposite way to your knees. So your face, the left ear, comes towards your cushion. We're going to release the hands. Palms will face up. Twisted mermaid. If you'd like to make this shape a little more intense, the top leg can move backwards. If you want to make it less intense, you bring that top leg forwards or just leave it where it is.
a couple more breaths. Turning the palms downwards, we lift your chest, remove the cushion and come to lay on your back. Extending the legs out long. Palms to face upwards. Allowing the ground beneath you to fully take your weight. aware of all the sensations. What is happening for you today? Moving towards our Twisted Mermaid on the right hand side, being very gentle, taking your time to roll to your right and set yourself up, bring in your cushion, rotate your chest, lower down. And we turn the face the opposite direction to the knee. Palms face up as you surrender. That top leg can now either move forward to make it less intense or backward to make it more intense.
opening the palms downwards, pressing back up, removing your cushions and coming onto your back to let it all go. We're going to bring the soles of your feet to the ground and slide your folded cushion or bolster underneath your hips. And once you feel nice and stable there, we're going to bring the knees in towards your chest. So it's a bit like an upside down child's pose. The big toes can come together to touch the knees as wide as your armpits and the hands gently weighing down the, leg, the legs. We're not pulling, we're not using any strength here. We're just using the weight of the hands to encourage those knees towards your armpits. If this is too intense, of course, you can release the hands. What we're trying to do here is compress your large intestine. Lung and large intestine are those linked meridian lines. So finding the compression here, we'll find the extension very soon. So let it soften. Trust. Both of your hands now move to the right shin. And we're gonna reach that left heel out long. By compressing, then expanding, we're encouraging flow in that lovely meridian line all the way. We let it go.
over the next little while, bringing that left knee back in towards your chest, returning to our upside down child's pose. One hand on each shin. Allow that compression. Both hands slowly move to the left shin as you reach the right heel out long. <sighs> Welcoming that flow. And over the next little while, we bring the right knee back towards your chest, returning to our little child's pose. Carefully bring your feet back onto the ground. We're going to remove the cushion all together. Rolling onto your right hand side. Your left arm, your top arm, is going to go behind your back and the back of that hand is going to find your lower spine. Now if you want this shape more intense as we move along, you're welcome to slide that hand up your spine towards your head and you'll notice your elbow tucks in a little. If you want it less intense, you encourage that hand lower and we bring the elbow out. So just get used to that idea of the opening of the shoulder. So there's a rolling back of your left armpit. Palm is facing out. 
we roll onto the back. So now my palm is on the ground. You can put two soles of your feet on the ground and let the knees drape in or maybe you want to go to a butterfly here or reach the heels out long. What works best for you? Your right forearm comes behind your head now and is your pillow. So we're getting a little external rotation of your right shoulder and an internal rotation of the left. We are extending your lungs, taking full belly breaths. Last minute wriggles and jiggles before we go into the second stage of the pose where you will find your stillness. Closing down your eyes and settling. so gently releasing your right forearm first and then bringing the soles of your feet to the ground. Now the back of your left hand is going to stay connected to your spine so even though we're going to roll to the right your arm will stay in that position attached the back of the hand to the spine. So slowly slowly we roll over to your right and once you're settled in this fetal position, gently release that left arm all the way forward. Slowly, slowly rolling onto your left hand side. Your right arm swims behind you, the back of the hand finding your lower spine. Remembering your options here, you can slide it up, bringing the elbow in, or you can bring it down, allowing the elbow to flare out. Find where you think feels good. And then we slowly, slowly roll onto the back. Remember the palm is facing out so my palm is connected to my yoga mat and you can choose your leg position here. Your left forearm now becomes the pillow. <sighs> Relaxing your full weight down. Any last minute wriggles and jiggles. And then we lean in 
into the stillness. soles of your feet coming back to the ground, releasing that left forearm. Remember the back of that hand stays glued to your spine as you slowly roll to your left hand side. And once you're settled, slowly invite that right arm forward. Using your hands to help you up. We're going to reach the left leg out long and bring your right knee on top of the left into a half shoelace pose. And because your right knee is on top, your left elbow will go on top. And just like before, we take the bind. Nice and straight in your spine to start. Draw the elbows down, thumbs close to your nose. Breathing into the back of your chest. Your next inhale will float the elbows, your heart will rise. And on the exhale, draw the belly button in, chin to chest. Allow the forearms to hang in space. Every inhale, 
is a chance to stretch that little space between your shoulder blades. And every exhale is a chance to relax. And over time, you might find that you have a little bit more space. Maybe you can lean a little bit more forward. Your next inhale, we stack up through the spine. Untwist your arms. Fingertips are coming to the ground behind you. The fingers point away from you. Releasing your shoelace, soles of your feet come to the ground. Lift up through your chest and allow the knees to gently windscreen wiper side to side. The right leg extends out, left knee bends on top. And because your left knee is on top, your right elbow will be on top. Elbows pull down, thumbs close to the nose, nice straight spine to start. Your next inhale, float the elbows, lift the chest. And the exhale, draw the belly button in, bow forward, weight of the arms will guide you down. Chin is soft. Every inhale expands that place between your shoulder blades. And every exhale, we relax even more. And as time passes, see if there's any more room. Your next inhale floats your heart back onto the horizon. Exhale, unbind, fingertips move behind, soles of your feet onto the ground. Heart up, knees, windscreen wipers. Now 
lovely. Coming to your hero's pose. Now, if that is not possible for you, any seated pose is fine. If you can, we sit with the bottom directly onto the heels, backs of the hands resting on your thighs. Thinking of your lungs as if they are divided into three, the bottom section, the middle section and the top section. So we're going to fill your lungs in three different sections. So every inhale will be divided into three and then the exhale will be long and smooth. So we'll empty out to empty out so we are all on the same starting point. And inhale, fill your lungs one third only. Hold. Fill another third. Inhale. Hold. Fill all the way to the top. Inhale. Hold. Gently parted lips, a long, slow, smooth exhale. Empty, 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 empty. Inhale one third. Hold. Inhale another third. Hold. Inhale the final third. Hold. Gently parted lips, let it all go. Inhale one third. Hold. Inhale another third. Hold. Inhale all the way to the top. Hold. Slow, smooth exhale through slightly parted lips. One more time, inhale one third. Hold. Another third. Hold. All the way to the top. Hold. And we gently let it all go. Coming all the way onto your back. Laying yourself out for your final resting pose. The maximum surface area of you connected to the ground. Inhaling full lungs and imagine that breath going all the way down to your toes.
starting to connect to the sounds around you. Noticing the air, the temperature of the air, and the quality of the air. How does it feel on your skin? Noticing any smells. Noticing any taste. And with your eyes still shut, can you see any light? Starting to deepen the breath and feel the body expand. Feel the free feeling of a full inhale. And a full exhale. Starting to point and flex your feet. Maybe sending the fingertips all the way up and overhead, taking a full body stretch. Making your way to one side or the other. And pressing yourself up to your seat. Palms face down now. Shoulders are gonna loop up to the ears and all the way back down, taking some lovely shoulder circles. Relaxing the shoulders back and down. Dropping the left ear to the left shoulder and starting to draw very gentle semicircles with the head. The right ear to the right shoulder. Gently come all the way back. Face comes back onto the horizon. Sweeping the fingertips all the way up. Catch that big balloon. And draw the prayer into your heart space, bowing chin to chest taking a moment to count your blessings. Setting your intention. Who are you going to be when you step off your mat today? your last moments of stillness. The divine in me recognizes the divine in you. And together to ourselves and each other, we say namaste. Namaste.